What up, my guys? Nico Sports Cards here coming back at you with another video. Hope everybody's doing great out there. Having a good one. I just put the kids down for bed, which means I got about six minutes before they come in here and tell me they can't sleep. So let's rock and roll. We're going to do a Brothers and Cards box, but it's been a crazy week in football. I love it. I love that the NFL doesn't give up. Super Bowl ends. Within a couple weeks, we got combine. We got trades. We got re-signings. They just stay relevant throughout the whole year, and I freaking love it. All right, how do I feel about things? Let's start from the top. I collect Carson Wentz cards. Back in 2016, 2017, when I got back into the hobby, I could have gone any direction. I got people that went and said, I like this Josh Allen kid in 2018. Popped off. Got people that said, I like this Patrick Mahomes kid in 2017. Popped off. What did your boy Nico do? I like this Carson Wentz kid. Plays for my birds. I'm a big fan. It was looking good there for a little bit. Now you can buy his Prism PSA 10s for about 100 bucks, And now he is going to play for the uh, Commanders. So, congratulations, I guess, to Washington. Um, look, I'm always going to root for Wentz. He was, I don't know what you want to say, was in Indianapolis. He was erratic, but if you're an Eagles fan, you, this was, you, you knew what was going to happen. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see him play against the Birds this year. But I'm excited for him. I'm happy for him. I hope he does really great. Uh, bigger news was, I think the biggest news was probably Russell Wilson, that trade. And I'm, again, the drama is the drama. At the end of the day, Russell Wilson deserves to be on a big stage. He's now in the best division in the NFL. That's going to be primetime TV for him, nonstop. Everyone's going to be talking about that division, and I'm happy for him. He's a superstar, and I can't wait to see him uh, compete against uh, three of the best quarterbacks in the league. So uh, that's great. And then, look, Aaron Rodgers re-signing with the Packers. I'm happy for the Packers fans, you know? I'm a, I'm a Rodgers fan. He's he's a polarizing guy, but I collect his stuff. Um, I, I, I have some of his stuff, I should say. I want to buy more of it, but his stuff has spiked up. Uh, but I think they will be a contender. So anyway... Really cool stuff happening in the NFL. I can't wait for the draft in a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll talk about what's happening there later. Let's get into the brothers and cards and see if I can break my streak of nonsense and nothingness in my sub boxes from them lately, but we'll be okay. We're going to be A-okay. We are going to be A-okay. I've got some really cool stuff I want to show you guys. I keep saying that, but I got to find time to make these like videos, dudes. But I got a new card in the mail that I'm really excited to show you guys. I, I'll give you a spoiler. I've told you that I PC, other than Wentz, I also PC, personally collect, Barry Sanders. And this is a card I've been chasing forever. Saw it on eBay and I picked it up. Uh, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. That's the hint. Okay, I don't know what this is, so we're going to put it to the side. What do we got this month? 2021 Illusions. This is about a $50 or $60 pack. 2021 playoff. I'm guessing these are all hobby. I'll have to look back later. Uh, I think these are like 15 to 20 bucks a pack. Three, uh, legacy. You can buy legacy boxes for 250 all day now. So, I mean, I don't know what they are. 20 bucks a pack, maybe. Uh, one 2021 elite, one Donruss, one classics, and one mosaic. This is, is this the no huddle? Or is this a hobby pack? I uh, cannot tell. Um, it's not hobby because it's only eight cards, so I think it's probably no huddle. So you guys tell me, is this worth $265? It might be, and I'm going to say this every single time. I would rather have a bunch of packs, like fewer packs, but have them all be super high-end than three Legacy, Elite, Donruss, Classics, like Playoff. Come on. I'm not, in I'm not interested. So if you guys want something better, you know I put together this Nico box. It's all hobby packs. It's all higher-end. You get... What I've been doing, and if I can make it work, because I don't, I don't profit all this stuff. I go to the card shop, pick it up, and mail it out. What I've been doing is two to three packs of 2015 Prism, two packs of 2016 Contenders, two packs of 2019 Contenders, and two packs of 2021 Certified. All awesome stuff. All hobby. All right. We're going to do Donruss Elite Legacy Classics Playoff Mosaic and Illusions. Let's rock and roll. Let me turn this light on, see if we can get, if we get any shine, we want it to bling, right? Josh Jacobs, Fred Warner, Antonio Gibson, Brandon Cooks, got a Randy Moss that is a parallel, 
or a short print. Tyreek Hill, same deal. Patrick Sertain, rated rookie. Let's put rookies here. Ooh, a Justin Herbert red. Not numbered, but I don't know. Um, I don't know how rare the reds are. Press proof. And it's the second year, so it's not going to be that much, but we're going to put them on the wall. Got a Burrow Dominators. That's a cool insert. It's a very good insert. And a Javon Curse. So if I've got any Washington fans out there, Packers fans, Broncos fans, what do you guys think? Are you happy? Seahawks fans, like you got a ton for that trade. Nick Bosa, Patty Mahomes, Jerry Judy, speaking of which, like should we be buying Jerry Judy cards? Out of 99, you know he's gonna go for a thousand yards this year. It's just, it's gonna happen. Tredavia, Tredavian White, Tyreek Hill. Yeah, I think that offense, Denver's dangerous now. You've got stacked wide receivers. You've got a great running game, good offensive line, good defense. Coach, coaching, I'm a, I don't know much about the coaching staff, but they've got the pieces. Terry McLaurin, Deshaun Watson. They've got the pieces, guys. They want to win now. They gave up their future, and they want to win now. Uh, Hadarius. Is that Hadarius? I can't tell the first. Is that a K or an H? I just don't know who this guy is. It's either Kadarius Tony or Hadarius Tony. I'm going to say it's Kadarius. Maybe. Oh, it's out of 299. Numbered card. Tylen Wallace and... J.C. Horn. All right. The only thing I love out of Legacy are the minis. Love those minis. Wish they had them in more sets. Emmett Smith Legends. Is there a mini in there? No. They usually just fall right out. Justin Jefferson. Dante Johnson. Got a Sean Bateman under the lights. Malcolm Butler. Jalen Waddle, look out for him. I'm going to say next year, 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns for Waddle. Caleb Farley, cool. Michael Strahan, DeAndre Hopkins. What's going to happen with Kyler Murray? Is he going to sign? You know he's going to sign with the Cardinals. I just don't know why he's making such a big fuss out of it. Just like... Keep it low-key and sign with your team. They're going to pay you. Ooh, the Mac Jones rookie. Whatever, I'm just going to put it here. It's going in a team bag. If anyone gets a Patriots team bag, you're getting that card. Jameer, is it numbered? No. And a Jamar Jefferson. All right, 2021 Classics. I haven't opened much of this. I do like it, though. The couple packs I've opened, I do like it. Cooper Cup. Chase Claypool, Travis Kelsey, a Michael Thomas, Silver. He's coming back this year. Oh, you know what? I haven't been putting my rookies over there, but whatever. Ooh, Bo Jackson Classics, Monday Night Heroes. God, do I love Bo Jackson. His PSA 10 rookies, guys, they like popped off to 20. They were like 2,500 bucks back in February of 2021. They dropped to like five or $600. And I was looking at one and I really, really wanted one. It's 1988 tops, I didn't buy it. And now they're back up to $1,500 and I'm kicking myself. But I might trade up for one, Patrick Sertan and the Quay Pay. I may trade for one. I have a buddy who has one and I might be able to stack a bunch of stuff. Like I might give him a Brothers and Cards box, a little bit of cash and then like a bunch of cards for it. It's just the card I really want. But I want an ten. I have it raw. I have like 20 of them raw from when I was collecting back in the 80s. But I guess it was early 90s I was buying those packs. Philip Rivers. Here's Carson Wentz. Hunter Henry. Jalen Ramsey. Adam Thielen. Kylan Granson. Uh, Jamin Davis. We got a Jamin Davis auto. I don't think it's numbered. But we got our first auto. Cool. And then Rookie Wave, Rondell Moore. Nice. All right. Two to go. 
Let's see what Mosaic has in store for us. I'm 99% sure this is a no huddle pack. It's not a hobby but pack. Hobby packs have like 15 cards. All right, A-Rod. Brandon Ayuk, Antonio Gibson. We've got a Adrian Amos, silver. Another Aaron Rodgers. Oh, this is the base and this is the Super Bowl insert. Patty Mahomes. Calais Campbell, man of the year, and an Eric Stokes. Not a good pack. Not a good pack. All right, last pack. Mm, feels average. I do love illusions, though. Matt Stafford. Ramondre Stevenson, rookie. Sorry, it's hard to see the names. Zeke Elliott. A Dwayne Eskridge RPA. Dwayne Eskridge. Nice little piece of the uh, jersey out of 299. Eight out of 299. Sweet. Hey, man. Any auto is a good auto. And an Elijah Moore Mystique. Okay. So this was 265. What do you guys think? Judge it less on the cards I got because that's not under anybody's control. More on the pack value. You think it was there? Or you don't think it was there. Anyway, that is all I got for you guys. I've got, I'm going to show you that card I bought, um, the Barry Sanders card. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to open up a box of 1994 Finest because I'm psyched to do it. I've got the Boom Box coming. We're going to do a Nico box. we got lots more content on the way. But in the meantime, as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please have a great day. But for now, I'm out. Peace.